Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to start the topic called basic circuit concepts. In the basic circuit concepts, we are going to study completely about the internal resistance, capacitance and area occupied by the transistor. That means area capacitance we are going to calculate, sheet resistance we are going to calculate. Later, we will calculate using these two parameters, we can also calculate what could be the time delay occupied when we are working with that particular transistor okay so all these topics will come under basic circuit concepts basic circuit concepts so in that first we are going to see the sheet resistance concept sheet resistance sheet resistance is indicated by rs sheet resistance is indicated by rs this will come with the material whatever we are using to design okay suppose if you if p plus diffusion is a material n plus diffusion is a material and internally whatever the material we are using that particular material or a sheet is having particular resistance or we can call it as on resistance that is known as sheet resistance okay what is the purpose of calculating the sheet resistance what is the purpose of calculating the sheet resistance suppose when a transistor is said to be in on state let me give you the clarity how and why we are going to calculate this sheet resistance. Suppose when a transistor is said to be in on state, this is the transistor. Let us consider an NMOS transistor. So drain terminal, source terminal and gate terminal. Suppose when we are using this transistor in any circuit, when this transistor is said to be in on state, it is acting as short circuit. Short circuit means, ideally we can say it is acting as a short circuit, but practically it is acting as some low resistance path between drain to source. Low resistance. We call this resistance as on resistance because when the transistor is said to be in on state, we are taking that replacement with the resistor okay so we are calling that particular resistance as on resistance during the transistor is in on state so this on resistance is having depending on two different parameters one is z another one is rs z is nothing but length to width ratio of this transistor length to width ratio of whose channel length of the channel to the width of the channel that is indicated by z already we have studied this z in the pull up to pull down ratio calculations okay there i have introduced z z is nothing but length to width ratio multiplied by sheet resistance rs sheet resistance rs is given through a particular terminal particular material suppose if you are taking a p plus material p plus diffusion that is having one particular rs if you are taking n plus diffusion that is having one particular rs so likewise we are having particular sheet resistance is there so when you multiply these two then you will get r on this is the value of r on on resistance of the particular transistor suppose later you are able to calculate the capacitance internal capacitance or we can call it as square cg square cg so with this square cg r on multiplication of square cg that gives you the time delay that gives you the time delay so uh, this factor will decide what is the amount of time taken by the transistor to complete entire the operation whatever the circuit we are using in that we are having this particular transistor so this is the time delay taken by that particular transistor to operate in the particular operation clear so in order to find this particular tau definitely we should know what is the capacitance and what is the resistance in that way we are going to use the calculation of all these parameters and all these parameters will come under basic circuit concepts basic circuit concepts now in this video i am going to explain about the calculation of sheet resistance calculation of sheet resistance so coming to the sheet resistance 
coming to the sheet resistance sheet resistance is indicated by rs sheet resistance indicated by rs suppose consider a uniform slab like this consider uniform slab of conducting material with a resistivity rho okay we are taking one uniform slab why uniform here the dimensions are uniform on any side if you are seeing on left hand side or right hand side the dimension the dimension should be same so it is having a resistivity rho that material is having a resistivity rho and width of that particular material is w length is l and thickness thickness is t okay so we are taking the area as a area as a so how can you calculate the area if you are looking from here the area of this particular sheet is t into w t into w <laughs> okay so these are the parameters that are associated with this particular material slab now you are going to write the expression for resistance between the terminals a and b between the terminals a and b from here to here okay how can you write the resistance so resistance between a and b terminals resistance between a and b terminals so r a b is equal to how can you write the resistance in generalized or standard formula that is rho into l by a rho l by a what is rho already we have taken what is what individually here rho is nothing but resistivity of the of this particular material into l length of the material divided by area of this material so what is the area already we have taken area is equal to t into w thickness into width t into w so that is equal to if you substitute that rho l by a is nothing but t into w t into w so we can write it as see here rho by t into we can separate these two so that we can get z over here l by w what is l by w rho by t into z rho by t into z this is what r a b the resistance existed between the point c and b okay so rho by t into z this rho by t we are taking it as uh, otherwise you can also write it as c for feature size for feature size feature size is nothing but l is equal to w for feature size is nothing but that is the least possible size below that it is not available so l is equal to w for l is equal to w what about the z value z is equal to l by w so z is equal to 1 then r a b is equal to rho by t into 1 that is equal to rho by t that we are taking it as sheet resistance rs okay therefore resistance existed between two terminals r a b we can write it as rs into z hope you understand now how we have got rs into z what is rs rs is equal to where rs is equal to rho by t rho by t ohms per square ohm per 
square here rab is measured in terms of ohms rab is measured in terms of ohms and rs is measured in terms of ohm per square square is nothing but l equal to w nothing that is nothing but a slab which is having dimensions like this l and this is w hope you understand how you have calculated this resistance rab okay <coughs> now see the typical values of sheet resistance because if you see this formula rab is equal to rs into z z you can calculate okay in this formula sheet resistance or any particular on resistance of a particular transistor you are calculating it as z into rs z into rs z is nothing but l by w where z is nothing but l by w and rs you cannot calculate rs is equal to rho by t rs is equal to rho by t which is ohm per square here it is ohms okay this value we cannot calculate cannot calculate because all these are this rho resistivity and this t thickness these two belongs to the material what we are using so one who manufactures this particular sheet only can give the resistivity and as well as the thickness so rs value will come with the sheet rs value will come with the sheet but whereas this z we can calculate we can calculate so this rs has to be brought from a particular table where all these uh, sheet resistance values are given with different different technologies what do you mean by technology okay rs value will come with sheets or material that we are not calculate okay now there are different different technologies like 5 micrometer technology 2 micrometer technology 1.2 micrometer technology that 5 micrometer technology different technologies are there different technologies are there like 5 micrometer technology 2 micrometer technology 1.2 micrometer technology this what a technology refers to technology technology refers to technology refers to length of the channel length of the channel that is nothing but value of l listen here clearly understand what i am saying technology refers to length of the channel technology refers to length of the channel not w okay suppose if you are saying a 5 micrometer technology example if you are saying 5 micrometer technology that means it it means l is equal to 5 micrometer but not w but see this table see this table typical sheet resistances that is nothing but rs value of mass layers mass layers means metal is having particular resistance diffusion is having one resistance silicide is having one resistance polysilicon n type t p type so all these are different materials they are having different resistor values for 5 micrometer this is orbit is nothing but 2 micrometer 2 micrometer and this 1.2 micrometer so they are having different values of sheet resistances for different technologies okay now i told you l is equal to this technology that is nothing but 5 micrometer or 2 micrometer or 1.2 micrometer okay then what about the w value see here rs is nothing but rs is nothing but sheet resistance per 
square. Resistance, we are calculating for a sheet where the sheet dimensions are square. What do you mean by square? Square is equal to L is equal to W. L is equal to W. So here all the values of the sheet resistance are calculated when L is equal to W. That is nothing but they are measured for the feature size. For the feature size. All such tables whatever we are going to see in future also all such tables are calculated when feature size is considered. That means L is equal to W. L is equal to W. So, in this particular example table, L is equal to technology name is L equal to 5 micrometer means W is also equal to 5 micrometer because we are calculating it square. We are calculating the sheet resistance per square. Hope you understand now. Okay. Technology refers to length only. That is for sure. But as it is a square, see here, RS units are also given. RS is nothing but ohm per square. So, that is why it is given L is equal to W. Only for this particular table, L equal to W. So, that means we can directly multiply this value RS into Z, whatever the Z we have, that L by W value, Z, so that we are going to get the sheet resistance value. This is for Z equal to 1. If Z is equal to 2, 2 times of this one. If Z equal to 3, 3 times of this one. Okay. So, if you are taking metal, metal in 5 micrometer, it is having a sheet resistance of 0 0.03. Units are ohm per square. If you multiply it with Z, then it becomes ohms. Okay. Suppose if you are taking N channel transistor, N channel transistor is having in 5 micrometer, it is 10 power 4. In 2 micrometer it is 2 into 10 power 4 in 3 uh, 1.2 micrometer again same value like that there it is having different different values okay this is about a sheet resistance concept thank you